Can anybody hear me? There's bitter days ahead. Death and terror. A dramatization about a global pandemic might feel a little too close to home. <laughs> I'm scared. Me too. But as this series wrapped just before COVID-19 took hold, there was little going back. Dangerous being profit during times of upheaval. So its stars hope audiences will be able to handle the eerily prescient tone. Nothing could have prepared me for 2020. Let's face it, I don't think I'm alone in saying that, you know, when faced with un unbelievable um, circumstances and incredible uh, adversity, what would you do? You know, what would you fight for? I like that this forces you to, to think about things in that way. And I know after anyone who's been through this year can relate. Amber Heard was in the headlines earlier this year, appearing as a witness in a high-profile libel case that her ex-husband Johnny Depp brought against The Sun newspaper, and which he lost. The actress is unable to speak about it because of another libel case pending in the States, but hopes her role in this Stephen King adaptation will attract press attention for the right reasons. I don't want to play a character who's easy to understand or whose motivations are, um, are transparent. It's more interesting to play a character who's functioning, like many of us are, behind several layers of masks that change depending on what our situation is. The world is now a blank page. The stand is out in January. Let's hope that in the new year, life will no longer be stranger than fiction. You must make your stand. Claire Gregory, Sky News.